In this video, I'm going to take you through the Coinbase wallet. I really hope you enjoyed this video today, and if you do, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also, please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step by step guides. So today I'm going to be taking you through the Coinbase wallet and just to point out that the wallet is different from the Coinbase app. And here's the difference. The Coinbase app is the company's product for individuals looking to buy or sell cryptocurrencies. And this is available at coinbase.com. Whereas the wallet app, which we're going to look at today, is a separate standalone app that allows users to store their own crypto and explore the decentralized web via a DAP browser. You don't need a Coinbase account to use the wallet app. And the wallet helps users to manage their own private keys and store their crypto assets directly on their devices. It supports quite a number of digital assets, such as the likes of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash and Ethereum Classic, and all your ERC20 tokens. You can interact with the Ethereum dApps via its integrated dApp browser, giving you access to decentralized exchanges, jobs, and digital collectibles. Plus, you can also pay friends using their Coinbase wallet username rather than a complicated address. And you can also easily transfer funds between Coinbase.com and the Coinbase wallet, which I'm going to show you shortly. So let's jump in and take a look at the Coinbase wallet now. The wallet app is available from the App Store or Google Play. And once downloaded, you can create a new wallet or an important existing one if you have a new phone, for example. You'll then be prompted to check out their terms of service and privacy policy, which you'll want to read and accept. You'll then enter in a unique username for your address. And you'll be asked whether or not you want to have that public so that other users can search for you by your username, or private so they can't. And you can set up a face ID and a passcode. Then you'll be prompted to back up your wallet with a recovery phrase. So just be aware that you should never share this information with anyone else, as if you do, then they may have full control over your funds and all of your crypto. And you can back up your recovery phrase manually or via iCloud. And once that's all complete, you'll reach the Coinbase wallet. So we're on the wallet tab at the moment, where we can view our Coinbase wallet username. You can see your balance, and you have some quick links for sending, receiving, and scanning a QR code. And when your balance is empty, you'll be prompted to transfer coins from your Coinbase account. Now, if you don't already have a Coinbase account, you don't have to connect this. This is just to connect the two together. And if you want to sign up to the Coinbase app, I've got a full tutorial and a link in the summary below that you can use if you want. But I already have a Coinbase account, so I'm going to connect the two. So if I press on to transfer coins, you'll then be asked whether or not you want to transfer coins from your Coinbase account or from elsewhere. So if we connect up Coinbase account, we can transfer coins easily from coinbase.com to our wallet. And making this link will tie up your coinbase.com identity to this wallet. And I'm going to go ahead and connect up my accounts now. And as you can see, it's now ready to transfer some coins. So I can start a transfer or I can transfer later, where you could then go ahead and transfer some funds across from your wallet. Now I'm just using a test one at the moment, therefore I don't have enough to actually cover the gas fees. But it just shows you how to connect these two together. And if you want to disconnect this at any time, you can press onto the icon in the top right hand side of your screen to disconnect your account. And all transfers between Coinbase.com and Coinbase wallet accounts are not instant transactions. They're completed on chain and require confirmation on the network before being processed. If you want to transfer funds from another account, again, you can click on to transfer coins and select elsewhere, where you'll then see the receive screen. And you can choose your asset and the associated address and QR code will then be shown. And you can share from here using that link. Or you can check out your username 
where you can accept payments from other Coinbase wallet users. And again, you can share this information. So this is really handy to use instead of using complicated addresses that could potentially be incorrectly entered. We also have a section for collectibles. So if you have the likes of CryptoKitties or other types of collectibles, then this is a secure place where you can store them. Then if we press onto the bottom center tab with the four squares on it, this will provide you with access to the DAP browser, where you can connect to the likes of Pull Together, which I've recently covered, to connect your wallet to the platform. And as you can see, the Coinbase wallet has automatically been detected. So if I press onto that, you'll see that that's instantly integrated the two platforms together. Plus you can also bookmark your favorite sites too, so that you can easily access them. So this is really handy for seamlessly interacting with other DeFi platforms. And pulled together is just an example that I've used on this occasion, but there are so many others that you can use. Then under your settings in the far bottom right, you'll have your profile, where you can change your privacy settings from public to private, for example. You can access your recovery phase using your app lock type. If we go into app lock, in here you can change your method. You can access wallet link, transfer funds between Coinbase as we did earlier. You have some advanced settings, some information about the Coinbase wallet version that you have, which you'll always want to keep up to date and you can change your currency from here. As you can see, there's a whole host that you can choose from here too. So that was my run through of the Coinbase wallet. It's really easy to use and with access to that DAP browser, it's really handy with integrating into other DeFi platforms. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also, please do head over to my website at everabithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.